Another shop day, Flats Class fans, and it got me thinking about a conversation that I had with a good friend, Steve Stanley, who recently came up here and fished with me on, uh, on a little bit of a cold weather bluebird day, and we were comparing notes on knots. Now, he fishes an awful lot of the tournaments down in the Keys where there's specific leader requirements and... And well, you got to play by the rules. So we talked about some knots. We talked about everything from FG knots to double uni knots to all brights, Albertos, carrot knots, you name it. But in general, line to line connector knots that just simply work. And I was like, well, I'm a fan of the modified Albright. And he goes, modified Albright? I don't think I know that one. I know how to tie an Albright. I go, well, now today's you know, braids are so slick and almost all of us are using a fluorocarbon leader, you have to be able to tie a really, really small knot that will go through the guides very easily, but it's got to be very strong. And this one right here, the modified Albright is pretty hard to beat, especially when you're trying to tie it in the field, in the wind, and you need something that's super strong, 100% and quick this is it. We'll go in the shop and I'll get things ready to tie one up for you. In the meantime, go watch Steve catch this Whopper Redfish <laughs> with a modified Albright. You did a great job. It's a good one too, man. I was like, that's a Redfish right there. He's just kind of pushing off. I was looking over here somewhere. You, he just made a little edgy wake because he was going into the wind. If he wasn't going into the wind, you would have never saw him. I didn't. I saw the wake and that was yeah. You lined it up perfect. And you got him on a bass bait. <laughs> you pulled out the old bass bait. The bass bait got him. The old bass bait got him. That is a cool way to catch one. That was every bit as good a catch as the one we had yesterday. Yeah, that was another, that was another, you know. Yep. I still remember that was like, about the that, that fish was sitting still. I'm looking, I'm like, why isn't there a redfish here? And then all of, all of a sudden I saw him just start to push away. All right, I'm gonna jump. There is one. I'm, I'm like perplexed. Man, they eat good here. Hello, buddy. I'm gonna put my pole down. I'm gonna grab my net and then I'll put them on the left side if you can. Yes. Yes. Oh man, that is a good one too. Man. Get the bass bait. Man, that's a heavy fish. I barely get my hands around. Good night. That no, not skinny at all, fat. And look, a crawl. Like, eating the crawl. Uh, like eating the crawl. Yeah. That is a gorgeous fish. What do you think? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say he's probably 26 or better. Put that put back the, there. Should have put the big one on there yesterday. Quick pick? Yeah, let's get a pick. It's always very rewarding when your clients and friends catch fish like this. It really is. All right. As I said in the intro, Steve was not familiar with the modified Albright. He's familiar with a lot of the classic knots that we all learned how to tie growing up. But this one has got a little twist on it. Why? Well, the Albright knot works just fine. And when Captain Jimmy Albright, you know, made this knot up, the lines that, that we were using back then, it was perfectly strong. It would never slip. But now when you have lines like Super Slick Power Pro, you've got Slick Fluorocarbon, you tie those same knots. Lots of times, if you don't leave a long tag or something, you'll pull on them and they'll slip through. The modified Albright has 
three little whips at the end that locks it in and does not let it slip. And it's super strong, 100%. I use this knot on almost all of my fishing, really, almost all of it. There are a few instances where I might tie an Alberto or a no-name knot just because the knot's a little bit longer and tapers a little bit more. And I'll do that with super long leaders when I'm throwing tiny little Ned shrimps or TRDs or something like that. But for most of my fishing, plug fishing, throwing bigger plastics and things like that, most of the time, it's all with a modified Albright. Don't have to use much more. Maybe I'll switch up and do some special knots when it's tarpon season. But other than that, modified Albright covers it all. Much like for many guides, the uni knot works for them. But for me, that's too blocky of a knot and it's got too long of tags that catch too much and they make a lot of noise going through the guides because most of my leaders are at least three feet long. So with, with materials, again, like fluorocarbon and Power Pro Super Slick, you've got to be able to tie a solid, compact, yet slick knot that doesn't hurt your casting distance or performance. We're gonna sit down at the table here and I'm gonna tie this knot up for you and show you how you're gonna do it. All right, let's tie this modified Albright. So I double my leader line over like so. Nice, nice little loop there. Then I'm gonna take the braid from the main, from my fishing reel. I'm gonna put it up through the middle and uh, pinch it my forefinger there. And I'm gonna pull enough line so I can make some wraps. And then I'm just gonna go around this basically 10 times. Best I can here. Hopefully you guys can see this with my big fat fingers. It's not a hard knot to tie really, and you can do it in all conditions. So then I've got my, my running line here. I've got my loop. Now I'm gonna go through the loop and around the standing line three times. That's once, so it starts to look like that. Twice, you can still see how I've got it. And then three times. This guarantees the knot won't slip. Many of you always will say, well, my Albright slip on fluorocarbon in the super slick braid. But this is one way to pull it all tight. Nice and tight. And then I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more with single strand here. And that's a good, good knot right there. Now I'm going to take some scissors and cut this real close. That's the beauty of the modified Albright is you can cut it really close. You don't have to worry about it slipping out. Ten times around, three times through one leg of the loop in the standing main braid, and then your knot basically is that small. That's a very small knot goes through the guides, super easy. I catch all kinds of fish on this. It's probably my everyday knot, but that knot there is absolutely fast and easy to tie. And in my opinion, is probably my, I'm gonna say 90% of the time, that's what I'm tying. There's a few times I'll tie an Alberto, uh, when I'm using real small stuff and I need more of a carrot style knot. But that knot is really fast. I don't feel like I need to tie a bimini or anything like that. And it's one of those knots. It's just 100% for me. Uh, and it doesn't hurt my casting distance or anything. And anytime I've got um, lightweight braid, 8, 10, 15, and I've got leader materials that might weigh anywhere from 15 pound all the way up to even 40 pound test. This is the knot that I'm tying line to leader all the time. It's a pretty simple knot. Now, I'm not known for finger gymnastics, so I make it look a little harder than what it was trying to show it to you because I like to pull the line with my teeth a lot. But in this video, I was trying to do it with just my fingers for the most part but you get the idea. The modified Albright looks a lot like the Albright Special, except for you keep going through the one leg around the standing line that runs back to the reel three times. 
That way, when you pull the lines and it starts to draw the knot together, and then you serve the knot by pulling it super tight, well, you end up with a nice little knot like that. That's super, super small, slick, goes through the guides, very easy. And it's strong. I mean, strong. So next time you're just sitting around the house, sitting around your shop, and you're tying up lines, and you get tired of throwing that big, bulky, you need a uni knot, or you've had some frustrations with the FG knot, which it, that can be a frustrating knot. Now, when you tie it with love at home, it comes together for you. But when you're out in the field trying to tie that in a 20 knot wind, well, mistakes happen, but not with the modified Albright. You can tie this little knot, have all the confidence in it in the world, and know that you're not going to suffer on casting performance and you got something that's strong enough to land any fish you might tangle with. If you like what you're seeing here on Flats Class YouTube, give us the thumbs up and smash, I mean smash that subscription button. We want more of you to subscribe. We get millions of views on this channel and we trend very well with it because you guys are watching. But for us to really move this channel to the next level, where I'm actually going to have a videographer, I need more of you to subscribe. I really do. And there is something going on right now this month on my website, CaptainCARichardson.com. If you buy anything off the website between December 1 and Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day, I might be calling you to be a part of one of these Flats Class YouTube videos. That's right. We'll go fishing. We'll shoot a YouTube video. Hey, doesn't get any better than that. Merry Christmas to you all. And remember, Modified Albright, it's going to help you. I'm telling you. Till next time, Captain CA, signing off.